हेलो फ्रेंड आई एम ऑल ओवर द फ्रेंडली गोस्ट इट इज सच अ ब्यूटिफुल डे द बीच इज सो ब्यूटिफुल द सन इज शाइनिंग ब्राइटली एवरी वन हियर इज हैविंग फन ओ लुक एट दोज टू द सन हैज ब्रॉट सेंट टॉयज टू प्ले एट द बीच जस्ट लाइक मी ओ आई एम कंफ्यूज Did I just use the same word twice? The sun is shining brightly. The sun has brought beach toys. No, I did not use the same words. The two words sun and sun are spelled differently. They even mean two different things, but they sound exactly the same. Isn't that cool? Do you know what these words are called? They are called homophones. Homophones are words that are pronounced the same way but have different meanings. The sun, which is spelled S U N, is the only star in our solar system. Sun, which is spelled as S O N, is a noun and means a male child to someone. Isn't it amazing? Amazing. You got it. Strolling on the beach is so relaxing. Oh, my hat! The wind blew my hat away. I have to find it. Now what hat was I carrying? I am so forgetful that I don't remember the color of my hat. Was it green or blue? It was blue. Yes, just like the ocean. Did you notice? I used a homophone again. Blue and blue. Here blue is spelled as B L U E and blue is spelled as B L E W. Blue is a color and blue is an action and also the past tense of the verb blow. To understand it better, let's look at another example. Flower and flower Both words are actually nouns Flower is the colorful part of a plant Flower is a white powder made of wheat that we use in cooking Anyway let's find my hat now stops blowing so fast Amazing Did you see the birds flying in the air Aren't they pretty They must be having fun flying over the sea I seem to be using too many homophones today Did you notice the words I used in this sentence I asked if you could see the birds S E E is C which means to look I also said over the sea S E A is C the huge water body Both words have the same pronunciation but different meanings and spellings Good going I like homophones I think it will be funny if we use the wrong word because it sounded the same With that Let's take another example of a homophone just so that we are sure. Look at this right here. There is no one on the side of the beach. No trees, no seashells, no people either. It looks so bare. Not teddy bear, but bear. B A R E. Here's another homophone. B A R E is bear, meaning empty. and b e a r is bear like the big brown wild animal even though they mean different things their pronunciation is the same amazing you did it why don't we see one more homophone before i go home this letter here is called mail it's spelled as m a i l The person here is a man and is called a male or M 
M-A-L-E. Male is a gender of a person. It is so interesting. Homophones can be confusing. But with practice, you will get them right. Amazing! You got it right! You will be great with homophones if you keep practicing. Anyway, I think I should go back home. It's getting late. Until we meet next time. Bye-bye.